it's that time again where we get to see an interesting question asked of people who are going on the streets by youtuber james klug i want everyone to go and check his channel out because he has some really good content but as i usually say i am not going to talk anymore so let us get into the video the question i was asking is if children were to do this does it have irreversible effects on them the answer is yes correct me if i'm wrong but from what i've read Puberty blockers are essentially entirely reversible, aside from some minor differences with bone density. Puberty blockers are almost always used on like teenagers or people who like aren't like like. From what I know, like yeah. why, why would you use puberty blockers? People who are five years old, it's not during puberty yet. They hit, they hit puberty around like I think like tweens and like nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, well, yeah, but like puberty blockers, like I think we can all agree, puberty blockers are used for people with precocious puberty, like but, like on the label, right? Like, do you agree with that? Do I? That's that's one of the purposes. Correct. But yes. uh, I'll the, take this, yeah, yeah. I, I did want to go back because uh, yeah, if, yeah, I would love to hear you speak, and we, we're going to let you speak. Yeah, um, but you did make one claim, which is that puberty blockers are reversible with no harm. Great, let's talk about it, Chris. That's what a lot of these people say that it's reversible when that's just not the case. You can't reverse time. If someone from the age of thirteen to twenty was on puberty blockers, their puberty is not going to restart if they go off of it from the age of twenty. That's just pure stupidity, and that doesn't even make sense. These people are ill-informed, and they've been programmed and propagandized to say the nonsense that they say. The Western world has unfortunately told these people that. That loving someone is allowing them to engage in degeneracy true love is to tell people the wrong that they do not to just allow them to do it because they want to do it and freedom we're all free so we should be allowed to do what we want to do and the funny thing is these people don't even believe that they don't even believe in true freedom of allowing people to do what they want to do because even they as degenerate as they are want restrictions on people which is a very interesting thing but it is total baloney to say that it's reversible that's just a lie okay so yes these have been approved for a condition called precocious puberty, which is where girls under the age of eight, boys under the age of nine are hitting puberty. This is a medical condition, right? You don't want a six-year-old starting her period necessarily. I agree, so I, agree. I get it in that instance. I don't necessarily even agree with it still because you're still giving a very serious drug to kids. But I understand in that case, okay? That's not what this is about. Okay, yeah. That's not what this is about at all. Mm -hmm. This is about perfectly healthy children who don't have that condition, who are now 10, 11, 12 years old, who have come to believe this lie that they were born in the wrong body. Okay. And that's a very negative message to be sending kids that they need to be something that they're not. The body positive message we should be sending is that girls and boys are beautiful just as they are just to pause it again but billboard chris brings up a very very good point the abcd community and the woke community talk about body positivity and loving yourself but yet all they do is change everything about themselves you would think people would look at that side and think to themselves that these people claim that they love themselves but yet all they want to do is change everything about themselves it's very interesting to see there's no right way to be a boy or a girl but we have all these kids today who have other mental health comorbidities going on. Almost half of these kids are on the autism spectrum who end up in these gender clinics. These are kids in state care. These are kids who've suffered trauma and abuse and sexual abuse. And they're not being treated for these other comorbidities. They're just being treated as though gender is the underlying cause of all of their problems. And all the therapists and social workers do these days is simply affirm the child's own statement. It's not challenged. It's just whatever the kid says, that's what goes. We trust children to know what's best for them. That's the line of thinking. Before we get back into the video, I need everyone to turn on their post notifications so that you get notified whenever one of my videos come out. Like the video as much as possible, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and follow me on Twitter at Yinka that Guy. Let us get back into the video. And as any parent could attest, that's totally nuts. It makes sense to me why it's become a like possible solution but i can understand concern because you know it's obviously a hormone and like it changes you well, know so the the, the drug the puberty blocker itself is not a hormone it actually stops the body from producing its own hormones oh, I, oh yeah, yeah okay so the sense, the yeah. technical term they're gonadotropin mm -hmm. releasing hormone agonists yeah so they they would stop you from producing estrogen yeah so then your body wouldn't develop yeah. the reversible claim this is essentially a sales pitch that's used and sure, it's true that if you put a kid on puberty blockers for three months, let's say, and took them off, yes, puberty is going to resume. That's what they mean when they say these are reversible. Mm -hmm. 
Now, the whole point they're giving these kids these drugs in the first place is because these children want to be the opposite sex. So the theory behind the puberty blockers is they want to keep these kids looking as neutral as possible. Exactly, so, so they don't go through like a male puberty if they want to transition to the woman later on. Right, it would apparently be too traumatic for a boy to start developing into a man. Another interesting thing people need to look at is the fact that they're doing this on children. And the reason being why they're starting to do this to children is because once you do it to children and they're below a certain age, they can look more like the gender that they want to transition to. But it's just very interesting that they're testing and trying all of these things. And I say testing and trying because that's what they're doing on children. And people are genuinely allowing this to happen. People are genuinely saying that kids have the faculties to be able to make decisions such as this which is absolute insanity thumbs up or thumbs down on this sign thumbs up thumbs up <laughs> it seems pretty reasonable right yeah, i think so yeah that, that should be like, illegal what? it's not illegal it's, but it should it, be it, yeah. how yeah. is it not illegal <laughs> Because it's not. I think all of it is. I think you're all you think this is stupid? Yeah, I mean, look yeah. at this. Like, so you think that they can consent to puberty blockers? Uh, okay, I'm just gonna say this is stupid that you guys are walking. Wait, wait, so, why? Wait, but you want to sterilize kids? Is that what you're telling me? No, I just want people to do what they want to do. Including yeah, sterilizing 12 year olds? I think you can suck my. You have common sense. You agree that we should not be giving children puberty blockers. Amen. I asked if you have kids. I have four. And are they in the public school system? Hell no. Especially California. Protect the kids, private school, Based. they give us no other choice. Do you disagree with that? I do disagree with that. What else can they not consent to? I mean, think about it. Can they, they can't consent to going to They can't to consent to, to having sex with an adult. They can't consent to... They can't they're not allowed to drink alcohol, smoke so cigarettes. So you agree with this message? No. Oh, you don't? I do not. You think if a 10-year-old says, I want to block puberty and become infertile, that that's fine? I think they and their parents should make that decision together. What if... They don't even have their parental consent. What do you think about that? Because they don't need it in California. Day by day, I get surprised by the answers that some people come up with. And at this point, I really shouldn't be surprised because it's a given that people will say the nonsense that they say. But I still get surprised that there are genuinely humans who come out and say children should be able to do what they want. These people have to have something that they're eating or something has to be in their food or something has to be in their water for their brains to come to the conclusion that their brains come to because this is absolutely crazy and I don't know how they even think the things that they think because little do people realize this is a gateway for a lot of other things to happen. If kids can consent to something like this, what else in the future would they be able to consent to? I'll get rid of all of it. I think the child should be in the driver's seat about who they are. So you think girls and can be boys? Have a good day. How does that work? Do you have any idea how a girl can be a boy? You know, and doctors in California, I don't even think can say, you know, uh, no, honey, I think you should wait. They can't even say anything. It's, it's, it's beyond repulsive and cruel. It's gonna come back where, uh, you know, Mom, Dad, you let me down. What that woman said at the end was very true. These people are doing something that is so crazy and they're allowing this to happen. And in the future, people are going to realize the repercussions of the actions that they've taken in today's society. And it's really, really sad. But anyway, that was another video, another reaction. As I usually say, if you guys enjoyed the video, like the video as much as possible, comment down below, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and follow me on Twitter at Yinka That Guy. And I'm out.